So the Earth, uh, we are going to be color matching a lot of stuff on this thing because it comes with a lot of black. The Earth Performante has a lot of carbon and a lot of gloss black as well. I originally thought that the side skirts were carbon, but I was wrong. They are all gloss black. Everything else you see that looks black, including the rear diffuser, is carbon. Fender flares, rear diffuser, gloss black. What is that compound or burnt crap? I don't know. Um, hood vents. Uh, the front lip and bumper trim pieces and then all of this is gloss black so either way way too much black on this car I want to make it all white so what we're gonna do is make it all white so I need to go through and strategically place tape on all the pieces that I want to do white problem is I don't want to really overdo it with white you can easily go overboard with white and do too much it's gonna take me a little bit but I'm gonna sit down on a roller chair with a piece of a roll of masking tape and a sharpie and I'm gonna go through this thing and um Make it look nice. On the tips, so I guess it's an acropovic exhaust. I hate that color. So we're probably gonna end up doing gloss black. Powder coat these gloss black. Tail lights. We're opening up the tail lights. First Lamborghini Urus tail lights to ever be opened up and painted inside and then sealed back up with a guarantee of no leak ever. Okay, so again, we're gonna have a mix of black and white in this car. We're gonna leave some carbon. Like I kind of wanna leave these carbon. It's gonna be a mix of black and white. So I don't wanna do full white, but I wanna do something very, very nice. Hmm. Look, I like this, it splits it up. If you do a white, it'll kind of blend in. Yeah. But at the same time, it would still look very good. It almost, it feels shameful to paint carbon because it's so pretty, but it's still carbon fiber if it's painted. So... those bolts and we are going to paint these little plastic washers so you have the white sticking out of the carbon there so we're gonna fuse it for sure we're what a shame all this carbon huh right <laughs> mm -mm -mm. it's just gonna look better they should have made it white carbon I know. I wish that like one company would do a white tinted carbon, but not, not yet. I want to leave this carbon. Reflectors are not just reflectors. They have, it looks like, reverse lights in this little section here. So we're gonna tint just that section with fine line tape so it looks like that. We're gonna do the rest of the reflector in gloss black and that tint will kind of blend in. You won't even know that it's there until the light comes through us. So that'll be pretty cool. All right, so I leave the, the wing carbon. I say white. It's white. It's white. You're not a fan of dark vehicles, huh? No, I am. Like light colors? I like all black. Yeah. But at the same time, I also like... White. All white.
paints on this, I'm gonna paint just the edge. And on the top here, I'm gonna leave a nice fine line. That'll be nice. So then this will be white, so you don't see the carbon besides the inner. Yeah, it looks like... Like a thought process. We definitely do that white, right? That plastic yep. insert. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be about a week from now. SPJ. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun one. Cause that has a lot of uh, active aero, which is gonna need a comb part. Motors and stuff. Like the louvers in the front. Yeah. Voila. Yeah. So those are those flaps are gonna have to get painted. Yeah. Fun stuff. All right, tail lights. We definitely want the surround white. That's for sure. It's only the face of these Ys. We'll have LED shining through them. The side over here and the tops and the bottoms will be all gloss black. The rest of it will be tinted so that you only have light shining through the very, very face, back facing parts of these. So instead of doing tint plus black on this front Y lens, we're gonna do the black border. Again, same concept here. The top flat and the bottom flat. And then even the side, you can see the side inside of the Y over here. The inner section will be black, but then the face, everything that's forward facing will be frosted clear. If you've ever seen like a frosted window where it's uh, cloudy, this, is, this has a design, but that design wasn't there it would be just like the top up here, which is frosted. So the front's gonna be frosted so that it's nice and smooth when there's no light or there's light. When there's no light, you can see it's kind of clear where we, as we want the front to now be frosted like the top, which will be black. So black border with a frosted clear front. Rest of the headlight all white. I don't know, it's a lot of black up here. And if I screw this up, it could look like compound over here. <laughs> Someone call Bubba. Do you love me? I love <laughs> 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 <Are> you Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love me? me? Alright, I think we're good here. I'm gonna leave this one. Just do the bottom one? If you did three, it would look a little strange. Yeah. Three. Yeah, the bottom one will make it look good. If I did that center one too, three lines would be a little strange. Right? I think three lines is too much, personally. Are you leaving all this black up here? Yep. It, needs, it needs a mouth. Yeah. You know, if it doesn't, again, too many lines here, it would look... It, at black, it kind of blends in. You can't really see them. Mm -hmm. But if you were to do that all white, it would too much. So I think we're good with how uh, how I got to go. All right, all done. That is the Urus build color match paint scheme. Now let's get to work pulling this thing apart, pulling apart the first headlights ever on a Urus, and pull not the first ever. They've been done. First tail lights ever. Headlights though, I'm not sure if anybody's fully color matched though. So, either way, it's gonna be good.
So we are starting the process of stripping G's udos. So uh, as you can see, we got all uh, all the airs were G marked of what needs to be taken off. As you see, there's a lot around the whole entire car. So uh, have quite a bit to do to it. Starting off first by uh, pulling the inner fenders and gonna start uh, pulling the bumpers and go from there. So yeah, we'll get into it. Dude, there's so much carbon, <laughs> so much carbon. I know this is gonna be, there's just like, so many different pieces of the yeah, front bumper. There's a lot of different pieces. There's a lot. So uh, it's gonna be a cool process. I've, I've never pulled apart a, a Urus before. So uh gonna take my time with it and everything's gonna come out good. <laughs> Got it. Little try. Work your way through. Alright guys, so as you see we got the, the front bumper off. Now uh, there's you know we're into a little bit of trouble here and there with uh, some of the bolts getting tucked inside. But uh, besides that, fairly simple. Got it off, gonna pull all the other things apart. You see all the, uh, the labeled areas. So it's pretty much getting fully stripped apart. So I'm taking off the rear wheels, gonna take off the inner fenders in the back, and then start on the rear bumper. Give me another update because All right, guys, so I, I haven't been able to film much, unfortunately, but you know. Well, you know, I, I gotta go, dude. I, I gotta <laughs> keep moving, I can't stop. So uh, we got the bumper off, we got uh, the taillights out, we're doing the inner taillights right here. You can see we had to pull this whole panel off, just a couple clips. But so uh, we're doing this right now, getting the rear taken apart. Also have to take off the, uh, the roof wing. I don't even know what's attached to it. It's attached to here. There should be a couple bolts underneath there. Um, besides that, just got to uh, get to the bumpers and start stripping off all the carbon that needs to go out the paint. Voila. 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 I am pulling off the Akrapovich tips as we're getting them powdered. So, uh, yeah, just take these off, give them the Ricky. We got some other parts going out the powder. Pretty simple. Ah, I like butter. Dude, that was smooth, dude. Man, smooth operator. Smooth operator. Ah! Do you like some assistance? Can you hold down, please? Thank you. <laughs> hold on that piece. There we go. Hey, bumper. All right, break me what's going down. All right, we are doing the down pipe on the yours. So I already got the old ones out. Yep, so I gotta make the, the bolt holes bigger because the bolts don't fit. What's up guys? So uh, today we got Gio's uh, Urus Performante parts back. And as you can see, it's a whole lot of white. Um, we're just going through everything right now, getting everything sorted out. And after that, we are gonna start putting stuff on the vehicle. We 
good thing about these things, huh? Do you remember what they looked like before? They were just all clear. All these pieces will equate to finished lights. Um, so, what? What's scary? I don't know how to do any of it. So, me and Stefano are about to put together the Eurus headlights and see who could get it done quicker. We should set a timer. Yeah, I'll should. set a timer. Okay, it's so, actually we both set a timer for ourselves. Oh. Uh, no, I think you could do a stopwatch and you could do multiple stops. So then he's in charge. So yeah, we're gonna put these together as fast as we can without breaking anything, without forgetting to plug something in. There's a lot of plugs in here too. And we both forgot how they go. Yep. That's usually how it works. Once you take too long to get the headlights put back together. It's been three weeks in this case. So I took apart some pieces, he took apart some pieces. So we both are kind of going into this without knowing what is, uh, what goes where. But it's gonna be a game of who can figure out the puzzle quicker, I guess. Yeah, so oh, I was trying to make a wager. Okay, ready? Remember ready. the turtle wins the race. You're gonna start going fast. I'm, just gonna... I'm not going fast. All right, Coleman collected. Ready, set, go. What screws go where? Like this thing. What is that? You don't have them? I have the yeah, I have the LED module. It's another thing you have. Put his together. Yep, I did. <laughs> Should I take it apart? <laughs> Give me the wrong damn size over here. There's only one long screw, or you only have one long I screw? Only, only one long screw in that bag. We needed like announcers, like dodgeball. No, we're good. We're not good. We're really close. Steph, I don't know what the frick I'm doing here, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm lost. She owes me cursing a lot. I'm pretty silent. I'm too soon for myself. I thought you said 10 minutes, though. No, Geo said 10 minutes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, yes. no. What, you screwed up? Yeah. <laughs> I literally have to undo everything I did there. <laughs> why? I'm not telling you why. That means... It's funny because the parts we're putting together right now, he took apart. I can't wait for the whole f***ing moment. You're not going to hear that. You know something I don't? No. No, you don't know. I can't wait. No fing way. <laughs> there it is. Uh, not a big deal, though. No, not a big deal. <laughs> That's funny. You mother. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Yeah. It is okay. 
is okay because it's not that big of a deal. There's a battle going down right now. Listen, buddy, just give it up. <laughs> what do you got to say? Um, she don't got it like you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's just yeah. dirty on the outside. Yep, you got me. What about your bed? I didn't like minutes. the dust that I saw. 25 minutes, one headlight. The bezel out of the lens. Beautiful. You have to do an inspection though. You're right, there's got to be a final QC. Geo's done, so he can't touch it again. Now I get to take my time. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Make sure it's better. <laughs> Crazy. Now you won this fair and square. It's alright, we're close. We are very close. We both had our f ups, but now I'm gonna take my time. So me, 25, you about 29. Minutes? Yeah. Damn, that was a long time. What did I say how long it was gonna take? 10. No, he said 10. <laughs> I said that ain't what happened. I lost. I'm ashamed no. of myself. It's because I talked That's f***ing why. Should have just kept my mouth shut. Stay humble. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the student thinks he could beat the teacher. One day that will, day will come. Those are hot. putting Gio's wheels together for his Urus Performante. Boston definitely outdid themselves with this. This is gonna be sick. We're running, uh, honestly, I don't even know. I'm fucking with them. Wide. They're wide, they're gonna look wide. good. They're, they're 23s though, 23 inches. Yep, got two done. And then uh, get these on, get them balanced, and uh, maybe mount them up to, uh, to the car. <laughs> That's what you actually sound like on the mic? No, we joke. But sometimes it's like that. <laughs> it's only when Ryan plays. Fuck off. Ryan, I do good without you. You stress me out. Okay. Because you walk in like this. The whole map. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
this is the first piece of PPF for this? Yeah, the first piece. Look at this beautiful Urus. Urdus. Udus. 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 Yeah, Udus. I'm gonna cut that out after. was a quick one should have been quicker but now it's done i don't know what's the last thing you saw but she is done all white matching very tough to match this white everybody might have saw that i don't really know but yeah here we go every single piece of plastic that we could have uh well every single piece of carbon that we could have touched is now color matched so let's go over it real quick spitball right here is the only carbon left exposed in the front that you could see besides obviously these trim pieces just making sure it doesn't have no buck teeth real clean headlights especially done by us world's first on everything here world's first so yours headlights fully done white gloss black accents come with me down here he's left carbon here these uh carbon fender arches are now white underneath you want to look hard enough they are carbon this whole car comes carbon everything pretty much so this is white we left a little flag italy because we know who the driver is that's it <laughs> white mirrors white trim white side skirts if you want to call them side skirts the bottom of the door is pretty much two pieces three pieces realistically this is all white matching this is the specialty right here this wing it doesn't look like much but fully color match bolts washers and heads white with the carbon surround come on Attention to detail, boom. Look straight down again. Vossen S1701, size 23s. Forgot the width. Forgot the width, that's really it. <laughs> Gloss black, uh, white UV in the center caps. We did white calipers with, I believe, reflective. Um, OEM, Lamborghini lettering, carbon ceramic. Tails, probably my favorite part besides the headlights, obviously. Opened up, fully painted. No Eurus in the world has these. Headlights, I still don't think anybody in the world has those either, but these are one of a kind, phenomenal. If you've got a Urus, has to be your next thing. So come back, all of the white on the rear end. Gloss black logo, really the final details, and some acropodic tips to really just give it the, the final, final kiss, chef kiss. I actually never even noticed that this carbon piece is on the outside and it sits spaced out from the bumper. So that's another cool touch. We got the markers fully painted. Little accent mark here, probably for the rear fog, I believe, because this thing's pretty much an RSQ8. If you know, you know. Go to the interior, which we don't talk about or do much of, but very simple. Got the blue Cepheus, Cepheus factory Performante interior. White handles, which were red. The red was terrible. So come with me in here. Got the white center stitch slash center line of the steering wheel. That's the only thing we touch right here. And then the final piece, this little switch that I believe is red is now white to match the outside of the car. So very small details, but to make the perfect daily, you can't just skip out on all the small things. So that's pretty much it. It sounds like a lot went into this, but really it was just a lot of tedious paint work and um, making sure this thing is the right amount of carbon, the right amount of white and the right amount of black. So right here a lot of people i saw in the comments want white wheels it would go crazy a lot of white but 
we'll see what we got in the future. Maybe it'll change it up. But for now, here's our 2023 slash 2024 Lamborghini Urus Performante. Fully done, color match, built by the last few.